All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and we're here today to do another Steam tutorial, this time talking about how to set up your very own Steam curation page. Now, if you're not familiar with what a Steam curation page is, it's like an official page where a video game reviewer or somebody who's really serious about their game reviews can become a curator or a somewhat more official game reviewer and post the reviews of games that they own, have been given, and have played so that other people can see them. And the idea is that each curation page is like a collection of games that a particular individual both recommends, doesn't recommend, or simply offers a little bit of information in order to help make, or, well, not make people, but allow people to better make decisions about the games they feel that they would like. Most notably, a lot of YouTubers that people follow have a curation page. That way people can be like, I agree with this person's opinion about most games. So you can just browse through Steam looking at what games they recommend to see if any of them fit your fancy. So the way that curation pages work is that in order to set one up, all you have to do is own your own Steam group or have admin permissions within that group and then you can go inside, like here's my Larry Chupacabra collection. There's a little tab up here at the top called Curator, and here you can give different reviews for the various games that you have played. And it'll even tell you how many reviews you've done and how many followers you have. I'm a little on the low side because I just started doing this, but it doesn't take very long to start growing a number of people that follow your page, especially because Steam just announced that they will be expanding the Steam Curator system so that game developers can send you keys directly through Steam, as opposed to sending them to you in like an email and harder to track methodologies. So all you have to do is go to your groups. We'll just do this fresh. We'll create a new group and we'll call this Chupacabra Tutorials. We'll call this Chupa Tutorials. Is that available? Oh, it's, it's too long. That might, that, that's good. And then the group link will be group slash Chupacabra tutorials. Is that available? It is, yay. Public group, what's a public group? No, it's not a public group. I want full control over this and I will create this group. So it just wants me to confirm everything that I put into. The abbreviation is Chupa Tutorial, Chupacabra Tutorials, Chupacabra. Yep, that looks good. We'll create that. And now we just have to add some headlines. Like this is a test Steam curation group. And, I, and then I'll just say this is a test group for a YouTube video tutorial. And then language, we'll say this is English. We're in the United States, associated games. I'm in Colorado, we can just say that. That's not a big deal. I'm not telling people where I live. That's a little more than people need. And then somewhere on my computer, I have an avatar somewhere. There's nothing really associated with my group because I don't officially... Alrighty, I'll just put for website, we'll just put YouTube. And then we'll just dump our URL in here. I don't really have much of a web presence for the ch for the tutorial page because honestly, it doesn't need it. Like most people that want to use a tutorial, they will simply go out and find one that they find helps them the most. And that's about all that they need to do. So now that that's all taken care of, we will just go to the root of Chupacabra tutorials. And then we'll go to the curator section. And this is how this works. So it says here, you need to review at least 10 products and enter a tagline before your curator page can appear in the Steam store. So I've already got a tagline, but I guess it'll want a specific creator curation page tagline. So curated group of games that are recommended by the Chupa Cabra Tutorials channel. This curation page is for tutorial purposes only. And then if I had a game software curated analytics tracking ID, I could put that here. I do not. 
and then I can just start creating reviews. And really all you gotta do is just click on this tab here, click on create new review, type in the game you want to, to showcase, let me see. I recently had to re-download Devoid of Shadows because they just did a big update, so I'm gonna re-review that game. And then you can write whatever you want here. You can say whether you recommend the, the game, you don't recommend the game, or if you just want to leave an informational blurb. Because some people don't really have a particular opinion about a game, they just want to showcase or share games that they find interesting for various reasons. And if you're kind of on the fence, I would recommend doing informational. That just means that this is just some information that you want to share about the game, and you don't recommend it or not recommend it, it's just that you played it and you're like, yeah, it's a thing. It's also a good idea, just because the FCC requires it, if you want to be a professional reviewer of some variety, to do these official disclosures. If you have received money to write a review, you should let them know. If you've received the product for free, you should let them know. I receive a lot of games for free, like most of my games I receive for free now, so I always tick this box, and then you can link to whatever video you want to share right here, and then post the review. Then once everything is up and looks tasty, I'll just go back to my Larry Chupacabra collection, they will all show up here chronologically in a row, and you can go back and edit taglines and details and manage reviews right over here. So I hope that helps you guys and gals out there to set up your very own Steam curation page. Once you post one of these reviews, it'll show up as, you know, what creators or reviewers or media outlets are saying about this game in its own separate section. But I also recommend that you also post a regular review in the review section below the game like all the other regular viewers because it's just another simple way that you can gain additional exposure for your videos or your written reviews or your articles or whatever type of content you make so that you get the most eyeballs seeing it as possible. So that's it for this one. Hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, throw those down in the comment section below. I'd be more than happy to help you out getting through the rigmarole of setting up your own Steam group and becoming a curator. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody.